just join this. <clears throat> the GOAT Global Conquest. Let me check. Make sure I got all my troops. Shake it. I wish I got something for all the advertising I do. They don't appreciate me. They don't even realize how much it makes a difference. You guys could tell them. Let's see where where's everybody at. Kylie's only 32. That's a spender right there. I hate that. Let me reinforce. I don't care about the other motherfucker. Hmm. 
your schools. The panel of top Democrats says his focus is saving lives. I want them in the classroom. I want them to be educated, but I want them safe. Dr. Fauci expressed cautious optimism by late fall, early winter, there will be a vaccine that is safe and effective. The Americans will be able to get it. I don't think that they will have everybody getting it immediately when they get it. It probably will be phased in. And while the experts say you cannot test your way out of the pandemic, the U.S. has ramped up. As of this morning, the nation has performed over 59 million COVID-19 tests, now averaging over 820,000 tests per day. Texas Republican Congressman Louis Gohmert tested positive this week. House GOP leader Kevin McCarthy says he'd like to bring rapid testing to the Capitol for lawmakers, staff, and reporters. Speaker Nancy Pelosi says it's not up to her, it's the Capitol position's call. Shannon? Hmm. Quite interesting. You might get an angle. Thank you. Exactly. Protests continue in Portland, even after word of an agreement for federal officers to eventually leave the city. Across the country, mass gatherings continuing without restrictions in many places. Kill them. As churches nationwide remain under strict restrictions or even full lockdowns, tonight more and more of them are vowing to engage in what they're calling civil disobedience and to hold worship services. So let's discuss the growing conflict. The Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Mark Siegel, and Fox News contributor, Pastor Robert Jeffress. Good to have you both back with us, gentlemen. Thank you, Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Okay, so, Not bad. Uh, a decision from the Supreme Court just days ago, uh, which said that a Nevada church could not fight the orders that were locking it down, but casinos could remain open. Uh, Justice Gorsuch saying this, the world may have it today with a pandemic upon us poses unusual challenges, but there is no world in which the Constitution permits Nevada to favor Caesar's challenge over a Calvary Chapel. But Pastor, that's where we are tonight. <laughs> my church that is exactly right i mean the fact is uh, thousands of churches like ours shannon uh voluntarily closed we were willing to close the great back of this pandemic but we're not willing to remain closed while other venues like movie theaters malls and casinos remain open and we're certainly not going to remain closed as thousands of people are allowed to protest screaming at the top of their lungs with or without a mask while some churches are told they can't meet together in groups of 50 to sing a hymn to god even if they have a mask on i mean that is absolutely ridiculous and shannon you're the constitutional expert you know there's no constitutional right to go to a movie mall or casino but there is a constitutional right it's called the first amendment to go to church it's the same amendment that allows protesters to protest peacefully you can't have one and disallow the other churches need to be wise they need to be careful but they need to be open and, well, and Dr. Siegel, to that point, there was this big dust-up between Congressman Jim Jordan today and Dr. Anthony Fauci. Uh, the Congressman pushing him, saying, well, why won't you make a statement on what's okay and what's not? Are protests okay? Are large groups okay? Uh, if they're Black Lives Matter protests versus a church? Uh, you know, there are a lot of people getting very frustrated with us. Well, Shannon, I think it was very clear from what Dr. Fauci said, though he was trying to be very politically careful, that he was saying large gatherings period, where people are huddled close together, where they're not obeying social distancing, and with all this talk about masks at protests, you know, there's nary a mask. You might see one every, every 10, 20 feet. I mean, I think we need some consistency here, because a virus doesn't pay any attention to party. It doesn't pay any attention to, to what, they're, what gathering they're at. And I'm sure the pastor is going to agree with me that maybe Caesar's Palace is a different kind of religion, but not the kind that the pastor and I follow. So, you know, you go, you go to Caesar's Palace, you have smoking, you have drinking, you have cavorting. Nobody's paying any attention to anything that would prevent viral spread. In hot spots, that's what we have to look at. But I think it's really, really clear that protests are a place that may very well spread the virus in hot spots. And the contact tracing we needed to prove that was not done. Yeah, it would be massive. Okay, um, who's writing about a number of these church services saying, as the Supreme Court ruled against a church in Nevada last week that wanted to have more than 50 people at the services against the state order attendance cap, reports of new clusters tied to church attendance have come to light, raising questions about the safety of large gatherings as the coronavirus pandemic continues to worsen in most of the U.S. Uh, that was this week from court. So, Pastor, they say, you know, and we've reported on this as well, that there are some churches that have been spread uh, within those tight communities. 
Well, it ain't our church persecution that we will spread because we had 95 people out of 15,000 members that tested positive and they quarantined, they stayed at home, they went through all the right procedures. And I mean, there's a double standard here, Shannon. I mean, you don't see uh, laws reporting that one of their customers gets the COVID uh, disease. Do they call to contact everybody who's ever been to that mall in the last 14 days? Of course not. I think this is a prejudice against churches by the left. And I saw and I think you saw it today in today's hearing, and I think Jim Jordan did a great job in exposing it. And Dr. Fowler, can you, um, what can you tell us about the hopefulness that we're getting on vaccines? I mean, Dr. Fauci did sound hopeful about that. That guy's an idiot to even try. That's the tail end of the new global conquest. I missed the beginning. I was busy. Have a good evening. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Where's my buttons?